Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my QPass video tutorials. In my previous video, I showed you how to create a project and uh, add images. We created a demo project and added the final cyclone fusion demo image into QPass. So if you want to see how to create a project and add your images into QPass, you can watch my previous video. In previous video, I showed you how to use the standard method from the QPass to perform cell segmentation. But I demonstrated in my previous video, in the analyze cell detection, you can use the standard cell detection to perform cell segmentation. But today I'm going to show you use a different method to perform cell segmentation. You can see in the extension, we have the image J and also have the statist. So today I'm going to show you how to use the statist method to perform cell segmentation. So in order to use statist, you need to download some files for the analysis. So if you have a look at this website, here is the GitHub to download the QPass extension statist 0.5.0 jar file. You can download this file from the link I showed you here. And also you need to download the statist cell segmentation scripts. So here is the Acquia Bioscience website. You can use this link to download all the files. You can see we have the statist cell segmentation script for 0 0.25, 0 0.33, 0 0.37, and 0 0.5 micrometers per pixel script. And also you can see the statist cell segmentation model file. Once you download all the files, then we can start to perform the analysis. You can see I downloaded all the files. First, you need to drag and drop this QPass extension statist chart file into here. Because I did already, then I don't need to do it again. So before we start the analysis, we need to make an annotation. For demonstration, we can just use the square annotation tool. We can select the area for demonstration. You can see now I have an annotation here. We can zoom in. So the best you select the area that cover all the different cell types. But for today's demonstration, we can just select this area. Then we can have a look at the image information. Here you can see the pixel width and the pixel height is 0 0.5. So we need to use the 0 0.5 pixel cell segmentation scripts. What you need to do, you just need to drag and drop this 0 0.5 micrometers start this cell segmentation script into here. Then you can see we can run the scripts. But before you run, QPass will ask you to select the model. If we press the run button, you can see QPass ask you to select your statist cell segmentation file. If we press OK, you can see we can go into this folder where we save the all the downloaded files. If you choose the statist cell segmentation model, you press open. Now you can see QPass start to run in the cell segmentation. The time will depends on how big the area you selected here for the analysis. So we can just let it run until it finished. Then we can have a look at the 
result for cell segmentation using the statist method. Okay, it is done. You can see for the area I see that here, it took 3 minutes and 14 seconds to perform the analysis. Now we can have a look at the result for the cell segmentation. We can zoom in. At the moment, my display, you can see, we just show the centroid. You can right click and use different display. You can see at the moment it is the cell centroid only. We can use the nuclei only. You can see the changes. Now we have the circles around the nuclei. And also we can show nuclei and the cell boundaries. We can make it bigger. So from the result, you can see the method worked really well. Okay, that's today's demonstration. It is a short video. I showed you how to use another method, statist cell segmentation method to perform cell segmentation in QPATS. So I'm going to stop for the demonstration from here today. You can start to download the files I showed you in this video from the link for statist cell segmentation analysis in QPATS. In my next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform multiplexed analysis. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching my video tutorial.